Welcome back to the Sky Talk for the week of October 26th through November 2nd. This is Peggy Hernandez from the U46 School District Planetarium. And take a look at this space view. So here we are above the top of the solar system. And we've got Earth, Mars, and the Sun in line because this is right around um, October 13th when they were perfectly lined up. That means for the last month or two, Mars has been terrific to see. When it was perfectly opposite, of course, it was that night it was super bright and it has continued to be bright. But as life goes on and we go closer to October 26th, today's date, you'll notice that the Earth is actually um, scooching past Mars. Mars goes a little bit fat, Earth goes a little bit faster than Mars. So we're not perfectly lined up anymore. But if this were tonight, if you were on the Earth on the side facing the sun and, and life kept going on and then it was sunset, you'd be right here. Sunset is right between day and night. And on sunset this night, well, first of all, you'll be able to see the moon. I'm on the 28th. That's this week still. You'll be able to see the moon and you should be able to look off to the left and see Mars kind of in the same direction. And the cool thing is I can I can act like we're in a spacecraft and if we look off onto the side of our solar system from more like a side view, check this out. We should be able to see Mars to the left and Jupiter and Saturn off to the right. Let's go check that out from the Earth view. So here we are with an Earth view of the solar system. We're standing on planet Earth and it's about six o'clock at night. The sun set at about 10 till. Jupiter's the only thing visible. It's just barely dark out. Jupiter is the brightest thing in the sky tonight. Well, Mars is probably a little bit brighter, pretty close. Uh, and then the brightest star is Vega. So as life goes on here and it starts to get darker, we should be seeing Vega pretty shortly. There it is. So now we're at 645. We see some satellites. We can draw in the constellation lines. Here's the names of the constellations that are up tonight. If I look up a little bit higher, I can see the Northern Cross, also known as Cygnus the Swan. And there's the drawings. As we face west, as we look at the sun setting, this is the western sky. Now, what we looked at was the view if we were facing south, if we were looking straight towards the south pole, we should be able to see the moon. Ta-da, there it is. And then off to the left is Mars. And look, off to the right is Saturn and Jupiter, just like that diagram showed us. That is truly how they're lined up tonight. Here's the constellations we will see towards the southern sky. The great square of Pegasus in the southeast is a big one. It's almost a perfect square in the sky. I'm a little distorted because I'm using a flat screen to try to show the sky, but this is almost a perfect square. The moon is in Aquarius on Monday night. If we continue off to the left to face east, Pegasus is in the east a little bit towards the south. There's still another satellite going by. And Cassiopeia the Queen, the W right here, is probably the most noticeable one in our eastern sky. And if I shift a little bit to east-northeast, you should be seeing the big and little dipper. Take a moment, see if you can spot them. If you were thinking that's the Big Dipper, you're right. The Big Dipper's low, close towards the horizon in the north in the fall. And the last two stars in the saucepan lead to the North Star. And there is Little Dipper. And there is Cassiopeia the Queen. This is Perseus right here. We can still see um, Pegasus, the great square of Pegasus. And then we're back facing west where we started from. Happy sky watching. Don't miss the moon and Mars this week. See you next time.